Hey, Mom. Hi, honey. You know, I tried looking for Whitney all day at school. I know she had a doctor's appointment, but I couldn't find her. Is she home? Yes, Asia, she's home, um, but I need to talk to you. About what? Please have a seat, honey. Oh, this can't be good. What subject am I failing now? Honey, this has nothing to do with school. Just sit down and I'll tell you what's going on. So what's all the drama? Asia, this isn't funny. This is serious. Okay. Is Whitney okay? <sighs> yes, but no. Well, what does yes, but no mean? I gave your sister permission after her doctor's checkup to go to her friend's house because school was almost over anyway. You had a half day, right? I stayed after school. It's already five o'clock. I'm sorry, I just can't think straight. Well, what happened to Whitney? Like, finish telling me what you were going to tell me. Well, anyway, I gave Whitney permission to hang out with a friend who was home from school. Um, and her friend, her and a friend began to drive to a store and a truck hit them. Hit them or hit their car. You know what I meant, Asia. Will you be serious about this? Well, how can I be serious if I don't know what's going on? I'm trying to tell you what's going on, but you're not letting me. Now, this is really serious. I don't want to have to be interrupted again. Okay, I'm sorry. So, they got hit by a truck and what? <sighs> Two things happened. Her friend died. Oh, poor Whitney. But what's the second? This one's going to be very hard for Whitney to deal with. Why? Like losing her friend isn't enough? <sighs> Whitney lost the feeling from the waist down. You mean she's a paraplegic now? Yes. So she can't walk? Will she ever walk again? No. She suffered a severe spinal injury and it's very unlikely she'll be able to walk. Maybe when she's an adult, they'll have, they'll have surgeries or something, but right now, no. My God. Where is she? She's in her room. Can I see her? If you want. But I want you to be careful what you say to her. Yes, ma'am, I will. I'll be careful. Okay. You can go see her. Okay. Come in. Whitney, oh my God. Are you okay? <sighs> Mom told me what happened and... Although, I like your wheelchair. It matches my room. You think this is funny, don't you? I'm not a freak, you know. I'm sorry. I was just trying to lighten the mood. I don't want you to. I lost my best friend, and I can't, and I can never walk again. And you think this is all a big joke. No, it isn't. I, I was just trying to cheer you up, that's all. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. You're right. You weren't. Does anything hurt? Well, I do have a headache. No, I mean your legs. Do they hurt? No, not really. I just can't feel them. So if I were to punch your leg right now, would it hurt? I don't think so, but don't do it. I won't. I was just trying to get you to describe it. I'm really sorry this happened to you, Whitney. I really am. Thanks, Asia. But apologize, it's not going to make it better. You're making it sound like it's my fault you got into the accident. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. I'm just in a really bad mood and I'm just really upset. Yeah. 
Listen, um, I have homework to do, so if you don't mind, I'm going to go to my room. Call if you need anything. Thanks. <laughs> Mom, can you help me get on my bed? Man. Hi, honey. Hey. Hey, honey, chill up. Whitney will be okay. I thought you said she'll never be able to walk again. She won't, but she'll get used to it. I know you're worried about your sister, and that's very sweet, but really, just be glad that she's alive. She could have been killed if she wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Well, I guess a seatbelt didn't do much for her anyway because she's a paraplegic now. I don't want to hear you using those words. I don't want to hear the word handicapped. I don't want to hear the word cripple. None of that. Just call it an inconvenience. Yeah, a really big inconvenience. You know, you seem more upset about this than Whitney. Why are you so upset? Because I have a twin who can't walk. Okay. But how does that affect you? It affects me a lot. How? Just forget it. You will never understand. Well, I'm trying to understand. Just go, Mom. I'm just... I'm just so mad. What are you so angry about? I'm mad be because of that stupid junk driver hit my sister on a friend, and now our life is going to completely change. Our life? Honey, me and you are the same. Your sister's the one who's suffering. I don't care. Now everybody's going to be asking me questions at school when I go tomorrow. I might as well stay home. You're going to school tomorrow. And I think I better leave you alone so you can figure out what you're really angry about. I told you what I was angry about, Mom. I really don't think you're angry about thinking that mine and your life is changing as well. I want you to stay in here and think about it. Think how bad your sister feels. I'd kill to be able to swim in that beautiful water but beneath this rock quarry. I never thought being a paraplegic would be so difficult. I'll help you out. Huh? Who said that? I can't even see you. I'm invisible, that's why you can't see me. Well, where are you? Doesn't matter where I am, but I'll help you learn to swim. You will? Yeah, I'll just push you down and you can swim naturally. If you don't understand, I can't move. Too bad. No! 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 Oh my god. Ugh, come in. Are you okay? Whitney, are you okay? Well, as okay as I'm, I'm gonna be, yeah. What's wrong? I heard you yelling. Bad dream. And it was about you. About me? What did you dream about? I dreamt that you were alone and you were peering down a rock quarry above water and then some invisible person pushed you and you were falling and... Really? Yeah. I figured out why I was so mad about this, this situation. Why? 
I know you probably thought that I was mad because I was jealous of you getting attention, but that's not it. Then what is? Mom? Yes, it's, yes, it's mom. Why are you really angry, Whitney? I'm Asia. Whitney's the one in the wheelchair. Sorry. I guess we're all shooken up by this accident that happened to Whitney. I can't even tell you apart, even though now it'll, it'll be a lot clearer to me to tell you guys apart. Anyway, what, what are you really angry about, Asia? I'm mad at the driver who hit Whitney and killed her friend. I, it wasn't really jealousy about the attention Whitney's going to need. It really isn't. I'm just mad that... Why did this have to happen to her? Why couldn't have it happened to anybody? Why? Her friend is dead, and she can't walk. That's a lot for her to go through. I know it is, Asia, but I'm surviving. I can't believe you're handling all this so well. Well, there are people worse off than me. But you'll never be as good as new again. I mean, it's not like you broke your leg or... Broke something, you're on a wheelchair the rest of your life, and you're only 12. We both are. I know. And believe me, they, it does hurt that I won't be able to walk again. But like I said, there are people worse off than me. So I don't bother complaining. I am a little worried about what my friends will think when I go to school tomorrow. Well, honey, you could always be homeschooled if you want. No. I'm not letting this accident stop me from leading as normal a life as I can. You're very brave, young You're very brave, honey. Well, I have to be to get through life. Even life in a wheelchair. Well, girls, dinner will be ready in a few minutes, okay? I hope you don't mind, but I am just made salad. That's okay. I'm not really that hungry anyway. Yeah, neither am I. Mom, can you leave us alone so me and Whitney could be together, like, for a few minutes by ourselves? Sure. I'll go and set the table. You girls be in the kitchen in ten minutes. Okay. How about your sister, Asia? I will. I'm sorry you're taking this... I'm sorry you're taking this harder than I am, Whitney. Asia, it's okay. It's not your fault. I just feel so bad for you. I know, but really, I'm okay. It's going to be okay. I'll protect you at school. I know you would do the same if it were me in your position. I know you would. I'm going to go in the kitchen and... Go sit down. You already are sitting down. Ha ha, very funny. I'll, t I'll see you at dinner, okay? <sighs> Such a brave girl, that one. <sighs>